Hey YouTube, Gator Greg here again with another video. Uh, I traded up my Marlin 6 2016 model uh, for this Marlin 7. It's a 2017. Uh, color is called Orange. It's got a little more red tint to it than the, uh, the old Firebrand was on my 2016 Marlin 6. Um, it's very similar though. A little more red tint to it though. Um, the Marlin 7 for 2017, I think the big change is it now has a rock shock system. The front still has a lockout like the uh, 16 Marlin 7 had. Uh, they also changed the grips. They got rid of the uh, kind of had the palm support and it just has a more traditional race grip on it, which I think I prefer. From what I've read, um, a lot of people didn't like the, the other style because they tended to slip around a little bit. Uh, the Smarlin 7 has 9 gears in the back, plus the 3 in the front for a total of 27, whereas my Marlin 6 only had uh, 24 gears. Uh, it's also got double walled rims, which is nice. And what else does it have? Um, one thing I don't like is the, uh, the gear shift indicator. It just goes straight from 1 to 9 and 1 to 3 with no intervening numbers. So it's kind of a wild guess as to what gear you're in. Not a big deal. But I uh, appreciate having more numbers on there. Um, the mods so far, I've uh, added the bottle holder, a new uh, gel seat, so a commuter style gel seat. The seats that come in these, they're okay. Um, if you're kind of a fat ass like me, you can appreciate a slightly wider padded seat. Um, it's got the uh, kickstand. And added the, uh, the LED flasher in the front, giving us more visibility. I'll put details about the mods in the description in case you care. Uh, what else have I done? I peeled off the uh, Made in China stickers on there and the, uh, the ugly warning stickers. Uh, but yeah, I've ridden it up and down some of these uh, hills at this old abandoned golf course. And it rides great. Um, from what I've read, it does give you slightly uh, lower gear ratio with that ninth gear in the back versus the uh, Marlin 6, so it's a little easier to pedal up the steepest of hills. We don't have too many of those in Florida, fortunately. Uh, I think the top end gear is about the same. Uh, but it rides great on the road, especially with the, uh, the lockout feature, so it makes pedaling a little more efficient. When you're riding on pavement it does not have a remote switch which i guess some of the more expensive bikes give you but that's okay so i plan on taking this on a couple trails in florida over the next couple months there's a santos trail up in ocala there's another trail uh i think it's alafaya alafa state park down by uh lakeland florida which i've heard is good there's a couple videos of guys on uh those trails so I look forward to getting my uh, GoPro out and testing out the new bike so until then Gator Greg out